Thank you for joining me today on my channel. My name is Chris and I am here to bring you another, I believe this is the third layout for For the Love of Homemade Kits for the month of February. Now I have to apologize. I hit my little record button and it didn't transmit. I went and purchased a clicker thing so that you wouldn't hear my chair squeaking as I get up and down to turn the video on and off and it didn't work. So. I don't know if I'm going to be using the clicker. You guys might have to just deal with some little bit of chair squeaking. So anyways, this is my layout. I'm just going to go ahead and share what I made and explain what I did. It's pretty, pretty easy. So oh, I'm going to need to glue some stuff down. So what I did was I took my one piece of paper that was from the Good Day Sunshine from Echo Park. It was this one here and I cut apart all of the quilt squares. Now most of my layouts have been to kind of represent um, a layout that for um, like 4th of July, those type of layouts. And I wanted to show how you could use the same paper for a non 4th of July or for those in Canada, Canada Day, that kind of thing, that you could actually use these for a, a non-patriotic event. So, hang on a second, I just didn't like how those ends looked. So I went through, like I said, and I cut it apart and into squares. Now this is a picture of my husband and my dad, and we are at a annual festival that's in the fall, and it is Pioneer Days. So when I look at quilts, oh, I don't like this one either, used a couple scraps to fill in the blanks and they're not perfectly square and I don't want that so you're kind of seeing process because I'm still tweaking it <laughs> anyway so what I did was I, I cut the paper into squares and again wanted to get that look of quilts because to me patchwork quilts remind me of pioneers and pioneer days so I went ahead and just did it on a diagonal going in, in rows of three going down and then I just did some faux stitching with my um, sharpie around the edge to, for faux stitching so then this is a journaling card from the hello summer um, yeah, uh, good day sunshine sorry good day sunshine um, one of the cut aparts I just fussy cut out. This is Be Full of Joy. And then this is the floral paper that I have. And I just cut a chunk out because I love this paper and I will love the fussy cut look. So I just fussy cut a bunch of these flowers and use them as embellishments on my layout. So then I went ahead and put a label here. From the Sweet Freedom sticker sheet, I grabbed this no, uh, no Guts, the Strong, No Glory. To me, the pioneers had to move out west and live out of covered wagons and tents, where probably the mo most gutsy people there were. So I thought this really represented the spirit of those pioneers that came west and made everything that we are able to have out here. Then I also used the uh, 12 by 12 sticker sheet from the Cool Day Sunshine. They had one, this is a, like a doily uh, because they're kind of summertime. So I cut the doily in half and stuck here and here. Again, doilies to me represents Pioneer. Um, I grabbed a couple of these hearts. They were from... They weren't from, I think these were all, the hearts were from um, Sweet Freedom. These arrows here were from Sweet Freedom. The little lantern, this came from, I want to say it was like a camping collection. And same with the letter stickers. And then I just went into my stash and I found some enamel dots. I now have them by um, colors in my color drawers. So I include those on there. Um, I think I told you I have a label here that I grabbed that was from the same camping collection pack. And uh, I think that is it. 
Oh, Puffy Heart from Pink. Uh, this is again from the Sweet Freedom paper or collection. So I think it was a good attempt at making a non Fourth of July layout. Again, lots of flowers, but the two guys that are in my picture are men. I, I don't think that really matters. And but it it to me it represents summer. It re represents the prairie. It represents everything pioneer, and that's the look I was going for. It doesn't necessarily, just because you have guys in the picture, you can still use the pink card stock, and you can still use the flowers. Um, and I like how it turned out. Again, I'm sorry that um, my camera didn't turn on. I guess we're just going to have to deal with the squeaking of the chair at the end, and hopefully I can just kind of pin... Um, crop it off at the end when I can. So I want to thank you for joining me today. These little bits I will go back and glue down because they're not staying down as good as they should, but you don't need to see me glue. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment below. Make sure you check out all the others that are in the playlist for the Love of Homemade Kits. We've got some great layouts out and great kits, and everyone's taking this recipe and going a different direction with it. It's really cool to see what everyone's doing with the recipe challenge. And um, if you haven't gotten the recipe, you can go on to Christina Sorge's blog. I'll leave the link below, which will also have the recipe challenge for the month of February. Grab a hold of it, make a kit, and use some of your stuff in your stash. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you're not already following me that you hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up.